Hey there, it's Brooks here from documentsnap.com and today we're going to talk about a free tool that Microsoft provides for Windows users to enable you to automatically copy documents to, or any files really to some other location. And where this can come in really handy for is if you have your documents on your on your computer on your C drive and you want to have them automatically copy over to an external drive or something like that. There's lots of ways to do this, but a free way is called Sync Toy and Microsoft provides it. And you can download it from this website right now, right here. So you download it to your computer, you install it and set it up and I'm going to show you how to do that. So once you've downloaded and installed it, let's get into it. Okay, here we are and I've got Sync Toy running. So I went to my start menu, went to all programs, and here we go, Sync Toy 2.1. So I started that up. And what we what we want to do is we want to create a new folder pair. And a folder pair is just you have your folder on the left, so the 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 files you're going to copy from, and your folder on your right. Where are you copying it to? So I'm going to click here, create new folder pair. And for my left folder, it's going to be a it's going to be something in my documents, wherever I'm storing my documents. So for me, that's under Libraries, Documents, My Documents, and this Archive folder. That's where I'm going to, that's where my documents are. And now on the right, where I want to copy them to, so it can be somewhere else on my computer, it can be a network drive, it can be an external hard drive, so I'm going to use an external drive, and in my case, this archive folder on my E drive. So we're going from our the archive folder in my documents to the archive folder on my E drive, and I'm going to hit next. And now I have three choices. So synchronize means that any changes on either side will be copied to the other. So I can add new documents on my C drive and they'll be copied to the E drive. If I change documents on my E drive, they'll be copied back to my C drive. If I delete files in either, it'll be deleted on the other side. That's synchronized. Um, in my case, that's not what I want. I actually want echo. And what that means is any changes on my computer, on my C drive, will be copied over to my E drive. So if I add files, if I delete files, if I change files, those will be copied over to the E drive. If I delete a file on my C drive, it will also be deleted from my, my E drive. Contribute is a little different. It's the same as echo, except if I delete something on my C drive, it's not deleted on my E drive. So changes are copied over, new files are copied over, but deletions are not copied. Um, I'm going to choose Echo for myself, but choose whichever one makes sense for you. I don't want synchronize because if something, this is, the E drive is supposed to be my backup. I don't want what happens on the E drive to come back and affect what the, my files on my C drive. So I'm going to choose Echo. I'm going to go next. And you just give it a name. I'm going to call it Archive Backup. And I'm going to hit Finish. And you can see here it's got my folder pairs ready to go. And if I want, I can create other folder pairs by going in and hitting Create New Folder Pair here. And you can see that my folder pairs would be listed here. I'm just going to stick with this for now. And I can either preview, which will show me what is going to happen, or I can hit run and make it happen. So let's hit run. It's going through and it's copying. Still copying. Obviously, the length of time that this takes depend on, depends on how much documents that you have. And it's done. And you can see up here, you've got the run results. It'll tell you what it's done. And I'm going to hit close. And again, I can run it again. I can uh, create new backup pairs. Let's flip over to Windows Explorer and take a look at our E drive. So there's my library documents on the C drive. 
and here's the E drive. And you can see here, it's an exact copy of what was on the C drive. You'll just have to take my word for it. And that is how to do sync toy. So it's a, you have to run it manually, but if you want, you can use Windows Scheduler to schedule it to run daily or something like that, whatever time period makes sense for you. That's a subject for another video though. So that's how to use sync toy to for free copy files reliably over to some other location. For more going paperless tips, head on over to documentsnap.com. Thanks.